Protesters marching in the Hydla Valley section of Fairfax County, Virginia, are out at this hour. And the protest has gained momentum after a Fairfax County police officer was caught on body camera making what appeared to be an unprovoked taser attack on a man back on Friday. That officer has been charged with assault and battery tonight. The Fairfax County police chief is joining with the demonstrators outside the Sherwood Regional Library. Scott Broom is there now as well. Scott, tell us more about this. We've got about a thousand demonstrators showed up for this, organized by the Woodlawn Faith United Methodist Church. We'll go up to Sky and I take a look down at them now. They've moved from here at the Sherwood Regional Library out towards Route 1, uh, and they're going to loop back around, making their feelings known. Now, this protest was organized before this incident caught on video on Friday, but that incident has added a lot of weight and a lot of emotion to what people were experiencing today. Officer Tyler Timberlake accused of three counts of assault and battery after using his taser uh, to take down a man, apparently unprovoked, a man who appeared to be having some sort of crisis. He was unarmed at the time. Police Chief Edwin Ressler uh, Rossler, excuse me, Jr. here in uh, Fairfax County was at this protest today. He admitted that here in Fairfax County, people of color do suffer from more use of force incidents and a higher level of use of force, and he called for change. Here's some reactions from some of the people who gathered a protest followed by the chief. But for someone to come out of nowhere and just attack the guy and then hit him in the head, whatever. That, it's not what I associate with serving and protecting. And, and, and it was disturbing. I think for a lot of us it does show that we need to focus very much on what are some of the alternatives um, to keeping our community safe. What are the other resources? What are the other investments? What are the other approaches? Every event locally or nationally makes it that much more difficult to, to rebuild the public trust and it's a hard thing but I stand strong with my community and the women and men of the Fairfax County Police Department that risk their lives every single day. We need to change the law enforcement profession nationally and we are creating great change here locally. Uh, we have a high level of community engagement and always have. We're blessed for that in Fairfax County. And I stand strong with the community. That is Police Chief Edwin Rossler Jr. here in Fairfax County. Down on the ground there, you can see the event at which he was speaking. About a thousand people gathered. And again, he is calling for police reform, not only across the country, but here in Fairfax County, and in fact, promising that. In this taser incident, it is notable that this officer was immediately suspended the following day and charged the following day. you got to contrast that with events back in 2013. A man named John Gear in a confrontation with police on his porch was shot to death. It took until 2015 for that investigation to wrap and for charges to be filed. Ultimately, the officer in that case uh, was convicted of involuntary manslaughter. So that's a, a, a measure of how rapidly uh, things have changed, at least in terms of how police are dealing with incidents like this one, a use of force incident uh, with all that's going on in our country right now. The protesters uh, about a block away from us now, headed back here to the Sherwood Regional Library here in the Hyla Valley section of Fairfax County. Reporting live in Fairfax County, Scott Broom, WUSA 9, back to you.